So Wendy, thank you very much for joining us on our Digital Diary session. Uh, we're looking today to find out a bit more about how Guinness are progressing on their digital journey and to uh, check in with yourselves to see, see what's next. So a good starting point would be to understand how's your digital transformation projects going at the moment and where are you today? In 2007, Guinness started considering options around kind of future provision for alarm services. We started with the more traditional housing for older person schemes and we deferred decisions around more dispersed schemes until we had some of the schemes completed and were able to take some feedback. Um, we set out to kind of deliver an assisted technology offer which would improve our ability to monitor and respond to customers' safety and well-being at our schemes. We saw assistive technology as playing quite an important part in our care service offer for older people, enabling them to live as independently as possible, but also providing peace of mind for them and their families and friends. Um, and in particular, we were looking for a system that would be responsive, so an alarm system that we could respond quickly if customers had an unexpected event or emergency, something that was preventative, so something that would enable Guinness staff to catch early warning signs and allow for early intervention to kind of avoid hosp hospital admissions and things. And then we wanted also something that was enabling, so something that would support greater social inclusion and safety. Um, and we've now installed a digital alarm system into about 80 of our housing for older person schemes and we've got a really full program going forward for about the next three and a half years. And how have you found that um, program rollout so far? Yeah it's all been really good so far. Um, we had to do a lot of pre-work to decide obviously what we wanted, how we were going to do it, where we were going to do it, lots of conversations with our customers um, to see um, to, to kind of check in with them to make sure that it was okay. We started in a handful of schemes and we did some pilots, which worked really well um, before rolling it out sort of more mainstream really. Along the way, what um, learnings have you found that you'd be willing to share with others who are just starting out on their journey? So make sure that you're aware that the equipment you're ordering is the right spec for your customer. So if you're likely to need enhanced equipment in the really near future, ensure that you know that upfront I'd say do your research, make sure that you know what's out there and don't be blinded by tech talk. So for me, I asked really basic questions and if I didn't understand the answer, I just asked for it to be answered in a slightly different way that I did understand it. Um, it was a really big decision for us and we took our time to make the right decision. Um, and we, we made that decision based on our customers and the fit for our organization. It was important for us to have something that didn't look like a traditional button inbox. That was a big part of the feedback. So some customers had said that they felt automatically labelled with having something like that in their home when they had visitors come. So that was really forefront of our thinking. And then obviously I would say also work with your chosen provider to help them innovate for the future. So we share our customer feedback with Apello, views and ideas, and we aren't backwards in kind of saying what we'd like to see um, in terms of kit coming out. So that's really important. How, if you have, have you tailored any of your offerings to meet different requirements? Yeah, so we are doing that. We're ensuring that customers who are likely to need more support in the future are given a system that would support these add-ons. That was one of the reasons why we chose the system we chose. So for an example, in extra care, we've ensured that the enhanced specification hubs are fitted, which would enable additional add-ons, such as kind of falls detectors, speakers, door openings, wandering alarms. Um, and we want them connected quickly and easily as soon as the customer needs them. Um, staff have commented that the digital alarm technology has helped them to monitor customers' well-being better and provide sort of a more effective face-to-face -face service virtually. And we had an example of an independent living advisor who had commented that the tech had helped her to identify some mental health issues that a customer was um, having at a particular time. And they were then able to organise immediate support for that customer. And many customers and staff have just reported that the alarm system has helped the customers to kind of better connect with each other. Um, so at some of our housing for older person schemes during the lockdown, um, the systems were used to kind of talk to neighbours and to make sure that they were OK. And it helped to kind of promote that social inclusion that we wanted and create a bit of a stronger sense of community within those schemes during their time that they really needed it. You talked about some of the reaction from staff there. How, how have staff generally received the, the new offering and the move to digital? 
So the system has been received positively on the whole. Staff are pleased that they're able to kind of do things like update customer information instantly. They don't have to send encrypted information across to monitor center, monitoring centers anymore and wait for it to be updated by them. They're also pleased that they can monitor their schemes remotely. So that was a massive plus, again, during periods when they weren't working from their schemes. And they could see if there had been any incidents kind of overnight or when they weren't there that they needed to address whilst they weren't on site. Brilliant. And, and I hear that you, um, your staff are using Appella SBR as well. Um, can you explain how they're using that and if they found that beneficial? Yeah, so staff are using SBR. They're able to update the customer information immediately without having to send the information. They are also able to add one-off notifications onto the system. For example, a change of time of the fire alarm test without having to call up the monitoring centre and report that. Um, if they're not able to attend the scheme, but a contractor's due to visit, then they're able to put a notification on the system for that too, so that that contractor can gain access via the monitoring centre. Um, we can update customer records to note health and welfare concerns, which immediately will be available across the service. And that means that not only the staff are aware of potential issues, but also the monitoring centre in the event that a call is made by the customer. And at Guinness, I know you're really forward thinking. So what's what's next? What's the what's the future for Guinness? So we're currently focused on ensuring that all of our flats for older people have a two way digital alarm system installed, which is a really large piece of work. And that's going to take us up to the date of the digital switchover. But we're also investigating ways in which we can innovate using technology to help our customers feel more integrated in the community as well as the community as a, as a scheme, you know, so that's something that we're also working on. As a final thought, um, those who are questioning moving to digital or have uh, some concerns about that, that project, what would you say to them? I mean, this technology has transformed our digital offer um, and our offer actually to customers. It's ensured that we're delivering services that will last into the future. It provides easy integration of other services and the ability to connect additional devices from tablets and smartphones, um, you know, to smart sensors and other connected devices to help our residents lead really connected, independent lives, which is what we want. And additionally, while benefiting from the advantages of the digital solutions, our schemes are also ready for that switch over. So we don't have the worry coming up about, um, you know, analog lines going. So we're really ready for the sort of digital network by 2025. Wendy, thank you for joining us today. That was a really useful session. I think there's some really good insights there that others will find really valuable on their move to digital. Um, so thank you for your time and have a great day. Lovely. Thanks, Ian.